Adonai Adonai Woo! <laughs> Praise God So I'm grateful for the Lord for this great opportunity in the presence of God so that you may hear from Him So welcome or help me to share Tag all your friends, invite them what you're going to hear today will change your life, I tell you. I promise you, it will change your life completely. Give me a share to Marafiki Wako, tag Marafiki Wako. Wambe to Megia, share to all those groups. Let them witness the doings of God. Because I believe this is the moment, this is the time. Let's hear from the throne of grace. Let's hear from the throne of grace. To call live Facebook and uh, YouTube. Uh, and apart tagum to eat um to God is gracious, thank you, Mugambi, thank you, Janet, thank you, Rosarin, and Kimani Nuru, thank you, and na Nims Nims Rea Meamua, Nims and Meamua Kwe number one. Nims and Meamua Kwe number one. Okay. Thank you, our sister. Thank you, our sister. Uh In muhimu sana kuja hapa na kusikiza na kunenewa na Mungu manake huu wakati muhimu sana wi tunafaa kusikiza from God yeah nafaa kusikiza from God and we are so grateful kuna hawa watu nilikuwa nawaambia kwamba wakuje tusikize help me to share tag marafiki wako waite yeah lista thank you ke dog wa santa bida matenga thank you mary james Karibu sana. Hakikisha kwamba you are not alone there. Hakikisha kwamba una mtu ambaye nakus mnasikiza na yeye. Yeah. Wao well, ukishare nifanye hivi ndio kwa umeshare. Yes. Paul Dego karibu sana Dokas. Mm, Cecilia karibu Mary Yesama ako hapa. Are you ready for this? We are dealing with the spirit of diversion. Nothing to divert you. How to, how to lose focus yako. How to call diverted your focus. Ata kwa diverted kibiashara. Uta kwa diverted I tell you. Mm, by the way, lazima. Iyo kulipo na yo lazima. <laughs> yeah, lazima talipo. Kwa nini tukose kulipo? Awezi kuja kusikiza rafu kosa kulipo. Imagine. Hmm? Miss Bed, imagine. Kwanza topic ya leo ni muhimu sana. If, if hauja tagi mtu, tagi mtu right now. If hauja share, do me a favor and share. Uh, yeah. Do me a favor and share there. Do me a favor and share there. Uh, imagine. Hmm? You know this Shia kwa huyo sasa mwambia kwa bahunu wakati muhimu sana. Wakati anafaa kusikiza the gospel. Franco, thank you. Valencia. <laughs> thank you. Left on Sunday you announced your call. You announced you are going to buy a speaker. I want to contribute to the little I have. Which number? Oh, thank you. By the have with the project number. Unaeza itumia. Pin and right there. Iyo naeza itumia, no problem. Nasama kwamba tiyalisikia tunanua speaker za kubiri. Anataka contribute. No problem. Kalibu sana our sister. That's the number that pin there. No problem. You're welcome. Patience Boru. Kalibu sana charity. Ah. Uh. Yunis anasama yake 10k ya natumo ya speaker. Katibu sana thank you. Dongo sana. Queen mom. Unandaya na mna gani? God's favorite. Why? I like that name. Hmm? I like that name. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay.
Oh, okay. So believe God this is your day. And I, I know there are so many people about me to my their dreams. I check about tomorrow to pick a I will help to interpret that one. Kama leo kuna mzee ambaye niko na saidia. Kwamba leo tu ndoto kuna mtu atia litapa vibaya sana kwa ndoto. Akamchapa akamtadika kwa ndoto. Then akastakiwa. Then akawa anapelekwa kwa prison. So akipelekwa kwa prison saa aliamka kuwa anaambia bibi yake aende aite loya wao ili awasaidie. Can you imagine? Na nako bomba pigana vita but amestakiwa. Na alio kuwa anaota kwamba anafungwa. Na Immediately after that, Ariamuka said, Yake moja kuwa na problem. Na since that time, Iyo pain ine, ime pasi sana kwa iyo said moja. Hava kena hospital ina mweko barezima tafanya operation. These are spiritual battles about sometimes ina tumo kureta magojwa. I remember kuna mze mgini lukuja kani mekomba, Aliyo takoba meumu wana nyoka hapa kwa shingo, kwa ndoto. Then from there that party kakaka nakoba ima paralyze. Just imagine. Ni doto waliyota tu ameumwa hii side moja na nyoka. Then from that day uh, akawa sasa akia muka akasikia kwa baina ganda. Then akawa na kaka na kwa baina paralyze. So hakikisha kwa mba those who see assume those dreams. Tomorrow I tell you lazima tutasaidia watu. Sabu there are so many dreams ambazo zimes. Kama leo para kanisa. Nime, nimeona watu wing sana mba umesumbuka na those dreams. Na we had such a great moment to to pray for those funny funny dreams we cancel them sababu unakuwa kama kuna watu wengi sana wamegojeka wamepandwa magojo kwa ndoto wamepandwa magojo kwa ndoto imagine eh <laughs> wow oh ah Yeye anasema kama aliuliza dai. Mimi wa Jiro Jibu huyu ambaye anauliza direction. Evangelist Michael, we are reading direction chat. Muandikie tu hapo. Si tuko pale Dandora Face to Stage Junction ya Cinema. Ato kigogo ukiandika tu uulize sisi Dandora. Inakuleta mpaka mahali tuko. Na huyo ambaye anasema kama aliniuliza pale alafu hakupata Jibu. Sometimes let me tell you there are so many messages. Unasema kwamba utaijibu then unakuta kwamba kuna ingine kali sana iko hapo chini unaikimbiza ili uweze kujibu but we thank God kwa sababu the God that we serve is such a power of God and uh, we need to be very sensitive leo kuna brother ambaye niruhurumia leo anatanga kwa watu ambao walimleta maji wale ambao walimleta na shukuru Mungu kwa sababu huwa anatufuatilia hapa Nwalimleta brother anasema kwamba amekuwa kiombea watu mpaka ti deliver anasema kwamba kufukuza mpaka mabebo amekuwa kiona vitu amekuwa kiona mambo anaona mambo vile anatendeka anaambia watu na watu wakaona kana kwamba ni nabii baada ya kufika time sauti ambayo amekuwa kimnenea ikamwambia nao tunataka tukwambie wewe ni nani tukuoneshe identity yako who you are wakamwambia kwamba wewe haukuzaliwa na binadamu <laughs> uh, 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 from alphabet. Na na Rafat yakambiwa kwamba not only that. Yeye akaona suru yake atena operate from the moon. Suru yake iko kwa moon. Mwili wake uko hapa akambiwa kwamba you operate from that. Na kaanza kuambia kwamba na una operate from the moon. Na hujazaliwa vile watu wengine wamezaliwa. Wao wamezaliwa dulu alphabet na amekuwa ki minister amesema kwamba maana kwa matatizo mingi sana na hata ameombea watu wengi sana amekuwa kiambia watu mambo litro hawakuwa naelewa na wanajua this guy anatumia that die maji na kuambia mambo mingi hata akiongea na ongea msikie kwamba anaongea na ongea acha kwamba vile akifikiria mtu anamwona kwa screen na namuita mpaka mmoja anamwambia kile ambacho kiko hata anajua mambo na kweli kabisa anasema kwamba hata before nikuja pa Dandora nilikuwa nimeandika na leto hapa eh <laughs> mambo mingi sana 
Na if you are not discerning Unaweza potezo Imagine And that's why, we, that's why tunakuwa na that class ya Zoom. That's why tuna teach watu. On Friday tuna Zoom class. Don't miss it. Tunangalia about freedom. Tuna topic ya freedom. Unit 12. Freedom. Tuna tackle freedom. How are you supposed to enjoy freedom? Ni wapi na wapi umeweko freedom? Umepo huru. Nini unafaa kuwelewa about this? I am able to tackle ya Zoom class. Unit 12. Lazima to tackle this one. Sabu ni vime sana watu andasana welewe ya mambo. We need to be discerning. Sana. In fact, if kuna hini unafakuwa sharp, that area, you need to be equipped kabisa with the word of God. Yakoba, anybody yaba nataka kuku divert from focus yako kwa Christ. Utanda sana utalana. So, get ready for this one. Marama hapi yakoba, brother na minikoba, yu kito itamu. But, ali, njenge sana, sima kuba nataka kuru nomu, kusabu si nomu. Awezi niambia kwamba unatumua na Mungu alafu kwamba hiyo spirit inakunenea inakuambia nao ati sasa unaweza unaweza hata mpaka watoto unaweza hata mpaka bibi ati ufai kwenda kanisa eh eh uwe tukae tu kwa nyumba ai wewe sema kwamba haufai ku miss wakikuwa kwa fellowship na watu wengine ile spirit inakuambia ukoe kwa nyumba that's not the spirit of god ana uko unanenewa Rom takatifu and akuleta kwa fellowship. That's what we say with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Because if you have the Holy Spirit in you, Holy Spirit and oxide ya fellowship not only with God but ku fellowship with others. Kuwa kwa fellowship. Mahari watu wili watu to megada am fair. Si mahari uko peke yako ni mahari mko wili. Hapa tu megada watu wili. God is in our midst at a manifest. There is a maombi yako wakati tumeamini na mambo tukio baba na tenda. Kuna mama leo nilijenga sana sema kwamba mimi sije kuja hapa kanisani. The, the reason why imefanya ni kuja ni kwa sababu ya huyu my sister. My sister alikuja hapa na you na my father. My father alikuwa na diabetes. That diabetes ika disappear. Si stango alikuwa na ugonjwa. Alikuwa fanya operation na nini? God did it. Mimi niko na kwamba lazima nitakuja leo. Imagine that's because Yakoba Meshudia. What about one girl who wanna kill him? What about Baba Metenda? What about one girl who wanna see the testimonies of Konazo? Then what a man is Jehovah God because of those testimonies. What about one girl who wanna talk about one girl who wanna see Baba Metenda? Because of the testimony of one girl who wanna. Hmm. But I go next. Kill him. But take your foolish hapa. Kill him. But you na fa kufanya ukubuka doctors ako. On take your hapa. But tomorrow I tell you, nita saidiya watu wengine sana baba Meshudia na isondoto. We go to over that time. And I can give my son to understand the Bible, to understand those things. This life is more spiritual than you can think. You are fighting spiritual battles. Testimonies can be found in your coke. Whoa! Thank you. And I say, "Makoba, testimonies can be found in your coke." Yeah, yeah. That's what we are deciding. That's what we are longing for. Huh? Leo, kuna mama mama ripi ata sa manika ni jenga sana. And I say, "Makoba." Wale bali kwa pale Friday remember your um, sister by in work then I'm studying sister by me kwa university sister uko mbifika time ameza kuna noa maroho hmm. maroho na mwambia mambo very strange yanamwagusha yana yana, kitoka anasema mambo but watu wakakaka na kwamba na muamini wanasema kutia kwamba uh, anatumua na Jehovah God unajua kuna hii mbao <laughs> mimi sijui kuna hii saying ya tia kwamba wakati unaanza kutumia na Mungu unakuwa mdazimu sijui kama kwamba kwani kulikuwa ni kulikuwa na hiyo na kwamba ati Ruth nyambura tu wakati sasa unataka kutumiwa na Mungu lazima kwanza ukuwa mdazimu there is nothing like that e e e e is in story zile za bunwasi <laughs> ati ati kenaya kenaya wakati Mungu anataka kukutumia ati before kutumia na kuwa mdazimu how now unaweza kuwa mdamzimu how that's not the spirit of God. Romba kadi mwezi kufuwa ati mwanazimu kwa sabu. Ati kwa sabu unahuduma dani. That's why unakuwa mwanazimu. Uwe mtu wanambi kwa kwa mwanazimu kwa sabu. No. Awezi kwa kita kama yyo. No way. Romba kadi mwezi kwa mwanazimu kwa sabu na kutu. Mwezi sija isikia kiti mwa yyo. Kwa sabu, I believe kwa the giftings of the Holy Spirit. Giftings of the Holy Spirit. Or a spirit akonanakupea peace. But isi ya tikuwa mwanazimu atuna hao. No, 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 no. 
Nilimwambia kwa birthday hizi ni maroho. Sasa ana anaongea na nikamwambia kwamba eh ni baada nifike na kumwambia Friday hawezi kuongea nikiongea. Nikamwambia bwana, ana iko kuna pepo iko ndani haifai kuongea nikiongea. Inafai nyamazi. Sababu ina T. <laughs> Aya, ati uliota kwamba kuna watu bwana clean masikio yako. Na huo na ya cream daily but uliona kwamba kuna utafu. Thank you. Very soon you'll be hearing from God. Mungu anataka wana usisikize watu sana. Ukiona kwamba masikio yanasikiza. Mungu anataka wewe udasikiza kutoka kwa concentrate. Usikize from him. Anything ambayo inaleta utafu kwa masikio usisikize. Imagine. Baba katika jina takatifu, Rabu Bwana Yesu Kristo asante kwa wema wako na nguvu zako. Wewe baba ni tegemeo, wewe baba ni kimbilio. Thank you for your goodness. Baba tunapolitia jina lako, wewe baba unafanya makubwa na maajabu. Wewe baba ni tegemeo, wewe baba ni kimbilio. Kama siwe baba tumefika wapi? Kama siwe baba tumekuwa wapi? Kama siwe baba tunaemesha. Tungekuwa baba tumeishiwa. Tungekuwa baba tumeremewa. Thank you for your power. Tunaamini kwamba hawa watu wanasikiza maisha yanabadilika, hali zao zinabadilika, ndoa zao zinabadilika. Unakumbuka mpaka watoto wao father gano zote bado nimezikataa. Madhabahu yote mabani nimekataa. Father gano zote za damu nimezikataa. Natangaza kwamba hawatakataliwa baba na mifugo. Hawatakataliwa na vitu vya damu. Hawatakataliwa na mijengo. Hawatakataliwa na ndoa. Hawatakataliwa wana pesa au atakataliwa na biashara father in the name of Jesus Christ nimetangaza ushindi wa kimaajabu nimetangaza uwezo wako nimetangaza nguvu za kwa bwana utungu kwa mili yao father i command that pain to disappear 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 kila vidodo vikauke father na command magojo yote haidirishi magojo gani kuanzia kwa kichwa mpaka kwa miguu na command ya magojo ondoke lana zote za taka nimezikata maroho baba boshiti kanda baba zaya demonic manipulations father I cancel those manipulations i cancel those manipulations father i cancel those manipulations why now natangaza moto wa ukombozi father natangaza moto ukombozi to over god natangaza moto ukombozi to over god natangaza moto ukombozi to over in the name of jesus Christ i remove all barriers i remove all barriers all over i remove all barriers all over i remove all barriers father how how kataliwa they are going to enjoy your favor father they are going to enjoy the exodus right now in the name of jesus christ uno break from one level to another from one dimension to another from one glory to another jehovah god no i know mpaka kimaisha uno i know financial uno i know materially maana kwa babu unaweza covenant zote mazi imefanywa juu yao sacrifices imetolewa juu ya watoto wao sacrifices imetolewa juu ya ndoa zao sacrifices imetolewa juu ya maisha yao father i silence those sacrifices oh god natangaza the power of the blood of Jesus Christ let us under the power of the blood of Jesus Christ let us under the power of the blood of Jesus Christ let us under the power of the blood of Jesus Christ let us under the power of the blood of Jesus Christ let us under how at our shield of father go roshi kapaganda rima katarama ma there do da boshiama they are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus they are born of you lord they are born out of resurrection law how is what kashindo of father they carry your dna how at kufa before their time father the potential that is inside them the greatness that is inside them lord i pray for that greatness that it may manifest in the name of jesus christ i pray for divine connections i pray for divine connections father watu ambao na watu wao ambao hata hawajaokoka i pray for them wakazidi kukujua father wakazidi kukubari ijiri wakazidi baba jehovah go ah kukujua zaidi in jesus might name lakini baba wanangangana kifedha wanangangana kibiashara wanangangana kimaisha na fungulisha mpaka pesa zao nafungulisha mpaka pesa zao father wengine baba na biashara naita customers from all corners naita clients from all corners naita clients from all corners lord wengine baba kuna watu ambao wame hapa hata hajisaidia but i declare watajisaidia wanasimama unawatendea unaonekania jehovah god unawapiga nia father niwe mlango kwao niwe baba jia kwao niwe baba uwezo kwao in the name of the lord jesus christ i speak your power father natangaza your power jehovah god kila maumivu yondoke kila maumivu yondoke wale ambao wamefungwa na madeni father tangaza baba unawatendea unaonekana yale madeni yanaondoka yale madeni father na disappear yale madeni baba na disappear in jesus might name kuna watu wana hitaji ideas za biashara i pray for those divine ideas i pray for those divine ideas oh god 
Lima costo bine esta calada Roma que ta robo Shitika baba baganda Rara rabo bo shiaba Tumeona ukitenda Tumeona babo kifaya Tumeona babo kitenda makubwa na maja Thank you for your goodness Jivihirisha baba siku leo Manifest your power Manifest your presence Lord Thank you manaki me tufanyo watakatifu Asana manaki babo tumepokea wakofu wako Tumepokea nguvu zako Tumepokea msaada wako Tumepokea Jehovah go wema wako Nani kama wewe Kila pen kwa mbavu ime disapia Kila pen kwa mbavu ime disapia Kila pen kwa kifu ime disapia Kila pen kwa tubo miondoka Kila pen kwa koi ime disapia fara Magojo angozi ime miondoka In the name of Jesus Christ Attack zote za maskiuzi ime disapia Attack za machos ime miondoka Attack za mgogodi ime disapia Attack za joint ime miondoka forever Tototo na kominia fara umetenda Ajari za barabara tumezikata Keza mashaba tumeziondoa Mbaba attack za mijongo tumekata Tumetangaza mbufu za hako Tumetangaza baba uwezo wako Tumetangaza baba mamraka yako Tumetangaza komba yu gune solo Tumetangaza Jehovah ushidi wako Tumetangaza mamraka yako Nani kama wewe Nani baba natenda kama wewe Nani baba nainua kama wewe Nani baba nabariki kama wewe Niwe kimbilio niwe baba tegemeo Niwe baba tuwa tazamia Father thank you for your goodness Thank you for what you're doing Kawa mebariki wa hezo waranika waraniwa Maneke umetenda kwao Kadiga jina raiso kristo Tunawa banata kwa minu Shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. Thank you. Thank you. Karibu sana. Hakiki Shakobe, you are not there alone. Thank you. Bukari karibu sana. Thank you. So, tukorai Facebook and YouTube. Ukiingia ita mwenzaka wami to share tag marafika. Mana kile tunasoma leo ni muhimu sana. Okay, okay. Iyo dream ni tayombea. And we cancel that agenda of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Exodus chapter number 12. Exodus chapter number 12. Exodus chapter number 12. Tako ni tegema na kikire tunasomari ni muhimu sana. Kitako sa idea. Exodus chapter number 12. Woo! Shalabagalamu zika balabusta kalamayinda. Is Exodus chapter number two, verse number that eight. Exodus chapter number two, verse number that eight. Exodus chapter number two, verse number that eight. Listen to this one. The Bible says, "And a mixed multitude went up also with them, and frocks, heads, and even very much cattle." Can you hear that? Kire na soma hapa ni muhimu sana. There's what we call a mixed multitude. Takao nitege, wana Israeli wakati walikuwa natoka Egypt. Remember, through the blood, wali enjoy Passover. And by the might hand of God, waka enjoy Exodus. But kuna statement hapa, verse number that eight is a key statement about ita kusaidia. But nesema kumba wakati walikuwa natoka Egypt, kuna watu wali wafuata. So hawa kutoka Israelite peke yao. Kuna watu walikuwa miongoni mwao. About that we are not Israelites. But the small couple talk a mixed multitude. So kuna Egyptians after kuna the manifestations. After kuna kuba the ten plagues. After kuna kuba vini mugo metetea. Wana wa Israel waka wafuata. Hawa kuwa na encounter. No. They had no encounter with God. They had no promise with God. No. No. Hawa kuwa na focus ya kana, no. Hawa kuwa na covenant with God, no. Hawa kuwa na toka pale, pale Egypt kwa sabo umetoka na Egypt, no. No, 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 no. Hawa kuwa natoka para because of the redemption, no. But walifoto kwa sabo ya hile miujiza waliona. Taka unisikize. Kwa sabo ya hile miujiza wameona. 
Kwa sababu vile umeona wana Israeli waka wako. Walipoona kwamba kwa hawakuzika mtu na kuona kwamba kwa nyumba hebu nimezika. Mimi kulikuwa na maombolezi wakafuata wana Israeli. So wakati walikuwa natoka Egypt, walitoka mixed multitude. Watu wa other tribes, watu wa other nations. Uh, Exodus 2 verse number 30, 38 Exodus 2 verse number 38 When it took a mixed multitude Mixed multitude Na kanisa nataka unielewe Kwa maisha yetu Kuna watu mbao wanafuata Ata maisha yako They are mixed multitude Focus yao siyo Jesus Focus your see redemption. No. It is mixed multitude. Now follow this. Follow this. They were not Israelites. But what you were fought too. What you know Jesus was fought. And let me tell you what to walk up. Usi fought because of miracles. No. You don't have an encounter with God. You don't understand about redemption. You don't understand the Passover. You see, fought to fought. You see, and to Kanisa Wende. No. Lazimu kuwa na encounter. Lazimu kuwa na knowledge. Mix multitude. You fought to one of Israeli. You were fought. See, it's a couple of meitwa. You were fought to. You were fought to. Kuna watu mbo na watu fought to. Kuna watu mbo watu wako hapa. Si kwa sababu wanataka kusikiza ijiri. They are mixed multitude. Wako hapa kujaribu kama kosa tukidogo. They are mixed multitude. Mixed multitude hawana call. Hawana encounter. Hawaja toka because of Passover. Hawaja toka kwa sababu wanaenda kanan. No. Wanafuata watu wa bawa wanaona kana hii. Haa watu nuwengi. Haa watu wana nini. Wanafuata watu like that. They are mixed multitude. Wanafuata tu wafuate. Uh, now I'm not Kia mahali kuna mixed multitude. Hata kanisani kuna mixed multitude. Kuna watu ambao hawakuja kanisa because of Jesus. Wanakuja kujiangalia watu. Wanakuja kuangalia kwamba mna sifu namna gani. Mnakuja wanakuja kujiangalia mnaombea watu namna gani. Wanakuja kujiangalia kwamba how do you do your things? They are mixed multitude. Mixed multitude. Kuna watu ambao hawa hata hako hapa. Hawako hapo askia about Christ. Ah ah. Hawako askia kwamba kwa sasa sema nini? Topic friendly kwa sasa nasema namna gani? Wana wachukue hapa kwa point wasema kwamba na aliogea. They are mixed multitude. They are there. They are there. They are mixed multitude. Na kama unitegemea unisikize. So nataka let's 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 go deeper kidogo. Let's go deeper kidogo. Are you ready for this? Haya, let's go. Angalia number 11. Let's go. Watch out for mixed multitude. They may divert your focus. Nataka unisikize. Nataka unitegea hapa. Number 7. Look at this. Let me surprise you. Kuna watu mbo hata wako marafiki wako. Siku sabu wana kupenda. Wana na kujoko banani ya na kuenigage. Muna kana muna gani kwa doa. Kazi ya kuna fena muna gani. They are there with an agenda. They are mixed multitude. Hako pala wakusaidie. Wako pala to pull you down. Mixed multitude. Walitoka si, si watu mbotu wa mekombole watu. Paku watu gini wa meono kombozi umeonekana wana foro. Numbers 11. Numbers at number 11. Let me start from verse number 1. Alafu nataka nita focus na verse number 4. Let me start from verse number 1. Taka unitege manake ini muhimu sana. Ii takusaidia sana. Angalia video bobo nasema. Nasema kubo when the people complained. When the people complained, it displeased, it displeased the Lord. Any time una complain, mungu hafraishi una hiyo. In fact, NIV nasema kwamba, iyo pasi na nijenga sana kwa NIV. Nataka unisikizi. Oja nisome NIV video nasema. NIV nasema hivi. Now, now the people complained about their hardships in the hearing of the Lord. So, walipoanza walikuwa napitia kwa jangwa, wakaanza ku complain kwa sababu yale matatizo yanapitia kwa jangwa. The Mungu akasikia na hakufurahishwa na hiyo, akagasirika. Just imagine. Kwa sababu kwa jangwa, Matthew, Mungu alikuwa anaongoza kwa jangwa. Alikuwa ameahidi kwamba pillar of fire, pillar of cloud. 
umchana pira of fire usiku alikuwa amesema kwamba anaenda before them the angel of the lord alikuwa anatembea mbele yao god was always fighting their battles hata wakati kwa jago anakosa maji anawapea maji from the rock anawapea mana kila siku brand from heaven anawapea wakule but kufika time instead of trusting god wakati unapitia hardship wakaanza ku complain any time una complain kwa sababu yale mambo unapitia una mungu hafurahishi na lile jambo sababu mungu hataki you complain mungu anataka wakati unapitia issues um trust not complain there are people umejaza complaints kwa nyumba let me say this there are people today wanapea na shetani nafasi kwa nyumba zao because of complaints you're complaining eh hey, bona haya mambo bona sijapata visa bona sijapata makaratasi bona sijaolewa bona ni kazi yangu tu you're complaining wakati walianza kuteta Mungu alisikia na Mungu akakasirika watu wangapi today wame complain kwa sababu Mungu hataki complain akitokipitia issues hata mzee akikosa kulala kwa nyumba Mungu hataki complain Mungu anataka umwaminie kwa sababu anakusaidia. Ara wakati uko na madeni Mungu hataki complain. Hata wakati watoto wako wameharibika Mungu hataki complain. Anataka umwaminie. That's what they did. They complained in the hearing of the Lord and God was displeased. And the anger of God has ya Mungu. Mungu akagasirika. There are so many people when a broke na wangalie vile Bwana sema. The Lord had it. His anger was kindled and the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed them that were in the outermost parts of the camp imagine angalie vile angalie vile and i've been asema inasema kwamba when he, when he had them his anger was aroused the fire from the lord burned among them and consumed some of the out, outermost parts of the camp angalia when the people cried out to moses he prayed to the lord and the fire died down so the place was called tabera because fire of the lord burned among them moto ulianza kuwatoma why wali complain kwa nini wanapitia mambo mazito is it not that by the way walikuwa wanapitia mambo mazito walikuwa wana complain kwa sababu wana mambo mazito that's the reality the reality is the issues unapitia the reality ya kwamba there are battles the reality ya kwamba hauna unangangana maybe uko Saudi maybe uko Canada na shida god why am i going through this umeanza ku complain unaweza kutokoba kuna watu ambao wametoma kimaisha kwa sababu ya ku complain kuna watu ambao wamejiharibia zaidi kwa sababu complain. Kuna watu ambao wamekufa spirit wamekufa kimaumbi kwa sababu complain. Kuna watu wengi sana wame complain. How many times you may complain? Mungu amekasirika, umejiletea mambo mazito kwa sababu complain. Imagine. You are supposed to trust in the Lord. Unamwaminia wali tomo wa wengine wakafa kwa sababu ya complain. Juu kasi wana complain wanapitia mambo mazito. You are supposed to stand watu mbona wameamini Jehovah God stand firm in faith stand firm on that victorious ground you're more than ah you're more than conqueror you're not a victim let me tell you you're a victor no matter kina nani wamekuinukia no matter what they want to kufuata no matter umegojeka namna gani God is here trust him go thank you you have my final word Sitakufa kwa sababu napitia mambo haya. Hata nikuwa Lebanon law, hata nikuwa Italy father, hata nikuwa German to hover God. Hata nikuwa Doha father you're doing wonders and miracles. You're supposed to trust in the Lord. That was the issue. But nataka nifike mahali ambapo nilikuwa nataka kufika. But now look at the next verse. Are you there? One to go and a mixed multitude that was among them fell a lasting. Can you see that? Ni kina nani wameanza kutamani sio wana wa Israeli ni mixed multitude watu ambao walifuata wana Israeli ambao hawako part of the covenant ila mixed multitude iliwafuata bado inasema kwamba wakaanza kutamani <laughs> walianza ku last mixed multitude watch out for the mixed multitude unaweza kuwa kwa kampuni hata kwa familia kuna watu ambao they are part of the mixed multitude wataanza nao ku last vitu ambavyo they are not from the bible Wataanza kurasi vitu ambavyo si za Bible. Wataanza kutamani vitu ambavyo ni baya. And now look at this. The mixed multitude not Israel, right? But inasema kwamba and the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lasting. Mark that. And the Israelite also wept again. Wamepigwa mapigo hapo juu. Bara sahii kuna mixed multitude. Wameanza kutamani 
wameanza ku last then wana israeli wakaanza kufuata mix of multitude na wakaanza kulia now the question is why are they crying <laughs> wanani alikuwa nini watch out nani ambaye unafuata siku kwa sababu unafuata mix of multitude watch out ni akina nani unafuata usifuate watu ukitamani kwa sababu unaona kwamba wanakunywa na usema kwamba utakunywa no Usifuata kwa sababu wanavaa nguo fulani utavaa kama wao. No, you're not like them. Don't follow mixed multitude. Don't follow. Si kila mtu ambao utafollow unaweza follow mixed multitude. Wana Israeli walilia. Mixed multitude mess. Angalia video babu inasema and the mixed multitude that was a mark them fell lasting and the children of Israel also wept again and said, "Who shall give us fresh to eat?" Wanaanza kutamani nyama. <laughs> Ndio lakini sikize wanaanza kutamani nyama. Nani ambaye anawapea hivyo? Well mixed multitude wameanza kutukia mana bread. Mark this. Wametukia bread. Mungu wa, Mungu alikuwa anataka wana Israeli wakikaa kwa jangwa focus yao ikuwe ni mkate. Maana kila siku alikuwa anapewa mkate. <laughs> Every day they were enjoying the bread. Ah shata karaba bayanda ba Every day Mungu alikuwa anapea mkate Home mkate was a picture of Jesus Christ Mana Wale bomba sikiza ni kubiri about mana There are 17 similarities between mana and Jesus So they were enjoying mana Oh Bible ba, Mungu hakuwapea mana Mungu aliopea bread from heaven but wakati walikosa ku discern the bread walita the bread mana mana ni jina walipea the bread Mungu aliopea Mungu hako ameita mana mana means what is this so mana is a sign ya kwamba they don't know Jesus maana kama that bread about to talk heaven when Jesus Christ alikuwa anahubiri alisema kwamba Mungu aliopea bread from heaven Woo! bread from heaven Uh, alisema kwamba ule mkate wa Israeli walikula ni mimi walikula and the bread of life ule mkate walipewa ni mimi maana he is a bread from heaven so wakati Mungu aliwapea mana hawakudisana hawakuandasana mana mm uh, hawakuandasana mkate walianza kuita mana walianza kulizana what is this hawakuwa na knowledge ya mkate uh, so the mixed multitude wakaanza kutukia mkate wakaanza kutukia Jesus wana Israeli na wao wakarus focus wakawa diverted wakaachana na mkate ambao wanapoa na Mungu wakaanza kutamani nyama ambazo sasa watu ambao wameanza kutamani nyama ni mixed multitude na wakaanza kutamani nyama kufuata mixed multitude Mungu anawapea mkate bread Jesus but wao wanatamani nyama ah <laughs> watu ambao kwa hapa Facebook nisikize watu ambao mko hapa YouTube nisikize Don't be diverted my sister grace we together don't be diverted focus yako inafaa kuwa Christ but if you follow mixed multitude you be diverted in a time mtu anaku divert usi focus Kristo tafadhali that's a mixed multitude <laughs> unajua mixed multitude wakati kuna matatizo wakati mko kwa jangwa ukiona mtu ambaye anakuambia kwamba focus yako hakuonyeshe Kristo ambaye anaweza kusaidia hakuonyeshe Kristo ambaye anaweza kupigania vita hakuonyeshe Kristo ambaye ni brand wakati kuna mambo mazito mtu ambaye anakuonyesha nyama anakuonyesha kitu outside Christ that's a mixed multitude watch out don't be diverted There are people today wametamani nyama za kidunia. There are people today wametamani nyama. Watu wanagara nyama. Unataka kutimiza tu mambo ya mwili wako tu nyama. Unataka tu kutamani tu tu ile tu vitu tunakufurahisha. Unatamani tu nyama. Kuna watu wanataka nyama sana. Mimi nataka ni the TikTok siwezi boeka na mahubiri ya Kevas hapa ya Tanibo. Unatamani tu nyama. Umekataa mkate. Kile nakupea hapa nakupea mkate. Bali kuna mtu ambaye anakuendesha usiende kwa hama hubiri. Yaani na kudivert usikuanze kuhubiri, usifuate mkate. <laughs> Don't be here. Now let's go deeper here. Let's go deeper. Look at this. Look at Angalia what happened. Angalia what happened. <laughs> Angalia verse number 5. Angalia. So nani ambao wametoka na hii tamaa ya nyama? 
sio na Israeli ni mixed multitude it matters a lot nani ambaye una follow nani ambaye unasikiza nani ambaye anakopia mawaida <laughs> let me say it again mixed multitude walianza kutamani nyama haya goja angalia vile Bible inasema angalia vile unasema wanaisiri wakaanza kulia ati hata at, wanalio wapate nyama wamepewa mkate ndaka mudhogo uko na mkate my sister kenaya una mkate Christ is your bread that's it ya ni mkate mara ngapi tumeachana na mkate tumeweza kutamani vitu ambavyo tunataka mara ngapi mara ngapi tunaacha mkate tunatamani vile vitu vinatufurahisha sisi mara ngapi tunaacha Kristo tunaweza kutamani zile vitu sisi tunaona kwamba zinafurahisha mawazo yetu kuna watu ambao wametafutiri ya nyama angalia mbona unasema wana Yesu wakaanza kulia kwa sababu wameona wengine wanataka vitu sisi hatufanitikiza watu wa kiroho hatufai kufuata watu wa kidumia vile wanafanya no 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 no, no. sisi tuna focus yetu mkate Jesus Have you ever noticed something? I watch and takuja hapo. Angalia. We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely. Are you sure? Wana Israeli walikuwa na kula freely au walikuwa wanafanyishwa kazi? Sasa hivi wamekosa mpaka wanasahau mpaka the Passover. Wanasahau the power of the blood. Wanaweza kusamani ati nyama, ati wanatamani samaki ya Egypt. Imagine. Ni kwa nini wanatamani samaki za Egypt? Because they are mixed multitude. Mixed multitude wameanza kutamani vitu vya Egypt mahali wametolewa watu wangapi today they are born again na wanatamani vitu vya Egypt wow samaki za Egypt watu wanatamani vitu vya Egypt kiukaba ya Egypt kiukaba kwanza kiukaba kiukaba kwanza ai 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 Nika. <laughs> we remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely. Cucumbers, the melons, the Egypt melons, the leeks of Egypt, the onions and garlic. Baka garlic. Wanatamani wanatamani hizi akina garlic. Can you see that? Wanatamani onions za Egypt. Now look at the next verse angalia but our soul is drained away there is nothing at all nasema kwamba there is nothing at all nothing at all beside this manna before our eyes nasema kwamba ni imana tu hii imana ndio tunakula hata ki imana yani wame divert focus yao from manna brand christ wanaweza kuangalia melon kuna watu today wanaweza kujionea melons au wanaweza wao together kuna mixed multitude koko Facebook mixed multitude koko YouTube watu wanakibizana na mixed multitude unakibizana na onions unakibizana na garlic unaacha ku focus kwa brand umepewa wanasema kwamba hatutaki hii maana hii maana hatutaki maana kuna watu wametukia Kristo today they hate the things of Christ they hate the gospel of Christ hawataki mahali wanahubiriwa Kristo wanataka mahali wanaonyeshwa ukaba <laughs> Wanataka mahali wanapewa samaki. Kile ambacho wanapenda, kile ambacho kinafurahisha, wanataka samaki. Wanataka onions. Wanataka garlic. Dizo wanatamani. <laughs> eh, hey, can I imagine? Kuna diet ambayo wanachukia. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Watu wamekuwa diverted from Christ to the Egyptian things. Mambo ya Egypt, mambo ya kidunia. Sasa watu wanakimbilia mahali wanaonyesha uti. Mm. Mara unakimbia mahali unaweza ona paja ya sister, unakimbia. Mara kuna kitu hakina Kristo, unakimbia kwa hiyo. Wacha ni iko wapi mahali kuna chai mahali. That's what kio dio tunakimbilia. Una place brand na cucumber. Unatafuta melon ya Egypt, kimelon na hapo kimelon. 
Hata kuna watu ambao wameta kuna watu ambao ni bless Kristo na kimelon. Na kuna baku na kidada umekifanya kuna dada kina ni kidada kimelon. Melon inaweza by the melon melon kwanza kikato inakaa kitu mzuri. You know imagine. Wonder things kimelon. Kimelon tu. Watu na kibizana na melon. <laughs> Watu wameachana na mkate. Watu wameachana na mkate. Imagine. Melon ina piano wapi? Watu wanakimbizana na melon. Halo watu ambao mnaongoza usikubali kuongozwa na mixed multitude. Mixed multitude anataka unakuta kama una unakimbizana una, una na kigarik na hapo. Kigarik. 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 Anybody ambaye hakuambia about Christ. Wacha na yeye. Ni melon. Ni garlic ni samaki. Ni samaki. Samaki. Naweza kuwa ni starfish. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Mahali, mahali mahali eh Jackie Mobi mahali hakuna gospel watu wanapenda sana mahali kuna mambo ya kidunia mahali watu wanaambiwa vitu just like that watu nakibizana imagine melons the mixed multitude wanaanza kutamani wana isiri wakaanza kutamani because of the mixed multitude how many today watu ambao wamekuwa diverted wangapo wamekuwa diverted from brand Masema hii mkate imekuwa bere yetu. Imagine, hii mkate imekuwa bere yetu. Ndio tu tunakula kila siku. Let me tell you. It doesn't matter watabaki wangapi, but still Mungu atakuwa na remnant also in this generation. Kuna watu ambao watabaki wanasimama na mkate in this generation. Kuna wamamu watabaki wanasimama na mkate. Kuna wazee watabaki wanasimama na mkate. Hata watu wakibizana na melon, watu wakibizana na garlic. Watu kibizana kuna watu bwa tabaki in this last generation kuna watu bwa tabaki still wako na Kristo i tell you may you be mmoja baya tabaki sema kwamba no matter vile kuko mimi bado nitasimama i tell you ah. i thank God for Daniel Daniel alisema kwamba it doesn't matter vile mfalme anataka staki chakula za mfalme <laughs> staki chakula ya mfalme Naga dos ile tu ile tu ni ya kiungu. Nataka ni kule tu vegetables. Stack hizo nyama za mfalme. Daniel alikataa. Kuna hitaji watu wana sema enough is enough. I'm going to stand with Christ as mama na mtu. Nitasimama na Kristo. I want to know more about Christ. I want to know more about this brand. Let me surprise you kidogo ule mkate walikuwa nakataa. Look at this. Ah, angalia video bomba nasema. Look at this one. Nasema kwamba tumetoka na huu mkate kila wakati huu mkate tumetoka na huu mkate angalia video walikuwa nasema the manna was as a korai korai the seed angalia so nasema kwamba manna ilikuwa ni kama korai the seed ilikuwa ni kama seed oh baga baga bagushima By the way, watu ambao sikiza watu hata ukienda ugo uko ile seed zinakana namna gani? Ni seed kamekaa kamedungwa. Na kako na two stripes hivi tu umeteremka. Ni tunaelewana. If umeangalia korida seed ukigogo, utaona korida seed zinakana namna gani? Zina tatu stripes hivi. Na ziko na hapa kana koba zimedungwa hapa. Are we together? So mini a seed mana, bread ambayo inakuja kama korida seed. Iko namna gani? Ina picha koba mepigwa because of you. Amepigwa because of your healing. Kwa mapigo tumepona. Amepigwa because of the healing. Na amedungwa mkuki to protect your marriage. That's the correct seed. Zilikuwa zinakaa hivyo. So unasema kile wanakataa kimebeba uponyaji wao. Kile wanakataa kina heal. Ah! <laughs> kina heal doa zao. Correct seed ziko hivyo. Ziko na stripes hivi. Ziko na stripes hivi. Picture of divine Jesus Christ at the pillow for your healing. La maka para maziti kabaga ya mando. Ah. Easy nasema kwamba hii ni maana ilikuwa mfano wa chembe cha mtama. Aisha kwamba maybe today kuna mtu ambaye hapa kuna mfano anaweza tupostia that corridor seed one vile kana ka. Very interesting. 
na tomorrow nitakuonyesha vile zinakaa so bayo natuonyesha kwa makili wanakataa kimeba bahi do you know jesus christ ni ambaye your healing no matter na subura na magonjwa na mnaga do you jesus christ ambaye your healing but the mixed multitude wana divert watu ah kadomi bodadi na azobagata hey uh grade is we together zimekaa hivi stripes healing so kwenye hiyo mkati walikuwa nakataa there is healing can i tell you only in christ you receive healing only in christ you receive healing so wakikataa that bread wanakataa healing The only person who banes as mamisa your marriage is Christ. But when ikata wakawa diverted. Wanatamani nyama, wanatamani wanatamani melon. Watu ngapi today wamekuwa diverted. Now follow this. Let me just go deeper. So wanakata bread ambayo inabeba hina. Angalia kitu kingine kinatajwa pale. Ni seed. Ni seed. Meaning seed inabeba life. Seed imebeba life. Seed imebeba multiplication. Ah, man like seed in a multiply. Seed speaks of the potential. So once you receive him as a seed in you. And akupea life, man like seed me beba life. So Jesus Christ ni seed. Na me beba that life. Wakati umemkubali na weka life in you. and awake that greatness and that potential in you and activate that potential maneke ni seed ukimtukua wakati umemkubali ye ni seed ah kabanova sakabaya mkati alikuwa na recognition na seed why seed sababu ya life 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 look at this look at this good boy nasema and the color they are of as a color of terim what about that color that's a white color that speaks of righteousness when like only christ and can give you righteousness 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 color yake ni white clear is righteousness Manek only Christ so banaweza kufanya mtakatifu. Prayer cannot make you righteous. Fasting cannot make you righteous. Only by receiving him the bread you are made righteous. You don't do to be righteous. You believe to be made righteous. You receive righteousness in you. You receive righteousness. So wakati wanakata bread, wanakata. Ah. Oh, rakapa raba sheta kabaraba. Only in Him you are made righteous. Only in Him you are made righteous. And like He is the righteousness of God. He is your righteousness. He is your righteousness. And look at this one. Angalia. And the people went about and gathered it. What will go and down and gather and ground it into meals. And beat it in in a mortar, baked it in pans, and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was the taste of the fresh oil. Fresh oil. Woo! Ah! Waki tukula mkate, waki upika, unako fresh oil. Manaka the only, the only place you can get fresh oil is from the bread. Una mkate ukichukuliwa that manner ambao ulikuwa nakataa wakipika una taste like fresh oil freshness of god fresh oil anointing of god the only place you can receive an anointing is from him anointing baka ya biashara the only place you can receive that oil fresh oil oh is from him and i pray in the name of jesus what you wanna nisikiza May you receive that fresh fresh oil in the name of Jesus Christ. Mafuta bichi. 
<laughs> mafuta mabichi in a taste like fresh oil manake Christ ni mafuta ndani yako akiingia na kupaka na mafuta mahali ulikuwa na ngalana nia zote zilikuwa zinakufunga zinavunjika because of the anointing mm, fresh oil na walikuwa nakataa walikataa fresh oil barama za magarama have you been diverted have you been diverted there are so many diversions in these last days and if if you want to watch out you'll be diverted let me tell you you'll be diverted unasikiza garix utakurishwa garix utakurishwa melons ukuwa diverted from the fresh oil I like this one. When the dew and when the dew settled on the camp at night, manna also came down. So manna came pamoja na dew. Dew speaks of favor. So the only person who is able to favor is Jesus. And when the smoke of manna is going to come down, the sun is manake Jesus Christ hata wakati kuna giza bado na manifest wakati sasa auone kana kwamba kuna mwelekeo wakati unapitia giza in your life wakati unapitia giza kwa kazi yako that's the time you experience him as a brand wakati kuna giza but now mark this mixed multitude wameachana na mana wanatamani nini mero na samaki diversion there is a spirit of diversion in these last days remember that's what happened to adam and eve they been divert and na take on it again any time when i say you're going to divert from manna haya let me surprise you let's go kidogo ebo ngari number 21 kidogo to number 21 angari yo number 21 are we together Verse number 4. Number 21 verse number 4. Let's go there kidogo. Number 21 verse number 4. Number 21 verse number 4. Angalia. They traveled from Mount Hall along the route to the Red Sea to go around Edom, but the people grew impatient on the way. Number 21 verse number 4. Look at this one. They spoke against God and against Moses. Mark this one and say, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the desert? Okay? There 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 is no bread. There is no bread. Are you sure there was no bread? There is no water. Are you sure? And we detest this miserable food. Hii ni miserable food tunapa imana. Hii miserable. Do you know how we say that again? Again, chapter number 21. When I cut a man and some of these detestable, miserable food. When I eat manna, miserable food. So they are rejecting Christ in typology. Wakat wa di kata manna. How I could understand manna was protecting them. Okay, let me surprise you. Angalia, wakat wa di kata manna. Angalia, next verse. Verse 6. The Lord is said what? snakes among them snakes zilianza kuoma lini time walikataa mana snakes zikaja so what was ni nini kinikuwa kinawa protect from snakes mana let me say it again ni nini kilikuwa kinawa protect from snakes mana time walikataa mana again bread picture of jesus snakes is kaanza kuwauma maneke kila time unakataa mana a picture of jesus shetani anapata nafasi kuna watu wameumwa na nyoka i tell you kuna watu wameumwa na nyoka kwa sababu wamekataa jesus the more unakataa kusikia about jesus the more nyoka zinakuja wakati walikataa mana wakaita miserable food wakati walikataa bread wakaita miserable food that's the time now snakes in Roma shetani huwa anapata nafasi mapepo anapata nafasi majini anapata nafasi wakati una reject 
to know or to hear more about Jesus. If utobu na fuata hafudishi about Christ, wachana ye, shetani atapata na fasi, nyoka itakuma, utobu sister na nyoka, urasikia hautamani maombi, urasikia kumba hautamani hata kuwa na kanisa, urasikia kumba hautamani kusikia maombi ya mungu, nyoka imepata na fasi, bwene suma kumba usipe shetani na fasi, mene died, why? Walikata mana, mana ilikuwe na waprotect, I tell you, by the time walikata mana, what happened? Walianza kumwa na nyoka. Watu wangapi tuduwa mwemwa na nyoka. Wano nasuma kwa basi kusikia about Christo. Kusabu wa hubiru wame haribika kabisa. Let me tell you. You don't believe Christ because of your watu. Usiru focus kusabu mtu frani mmoja mekosea. Awa wawiru wamekosea. Hakuna hauta. Hauta enda kuambiana at heaven. Mimi, mimi, mimi mungu. Ine sababu ilifanya nisi ya mini kristo. Ni kwa sababu niliangari ya wajiro mwangi. Hauta ito hivo. Umemua focus yako ni kwa kristo. Usi focus binadamu. Usi angari ya binadamu. Baina suma kwa kwa kuraaniwa ni ule ambaye ana trust binadamu. Unafau trust God not binadamu. Focus yako inafau kwa kristo. Brand. Don't be diverted. Manaka the motor kwa diverted who is focus. Uweza kuangaria nims hapa. Nims ana weakness yake. Utaru's focus. See Christ. See Christ. The Bible says upon mount of transfiguration. Wakatu Moses na Elijah walikuja. Bwini ya sama koba mpita. Kisama koba tujenga three tabernacles. Moja yako moja Moses moja Elijah. Bwini ya sama koba hakuwa na juo kile mwacho na ungea. Wingu likaja. Bible nasema kwamba walipoanguka then what happened? Walipoanguka they saw Jesus and Jesus alone. Focus yako na kwa kwa Jesus and Jesus alone. Whether you are bishop or merus focus, whether you are overseer merus focus, whether you are bishop or merus focus, whether you are apostle or so called prophet or prophetess or merus focus, focus to Christ. Heaven ho tena kuwa biana ati ya koba mimi. Ni kwa sabo niliona Grace Minor. Ameda na wazewa wenyewe. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo in heaven. Hakuna debate kama hiyo. Focus yako ni Christo. Ukiene time unakata mkate. Nyoko wanapata na fasi. Mixed multitude wanafanya utukie Jesus. Mixed multitude wanafanya utukie Christo. Anybody ya mbae nafanya utukue Christo ni mixed multitude. I tell you. Anybody and a family would go diverted from Christ that a mixed multitude. Don't follow that person. No matter na ito jinaga, no matter whether ni prophetess, no matter whether na followers zangapi, focus yako is to Christ and Christ alone. I tell you. Listen to this. Mixed multitude. Imefanya wana siriru wanza kutamani melo ni Egypt. Tumerudisho kwa vitu vya Egypt. Gospel haifai kukweka chuki. No. This is a gospel of peace. You are supposed to hear the gospel then you receive peace. Because it is a gospel of peace. No. Let me just go deeper here. Let's go back to numbers. Focus in my potea. To merudu ku debate. Mambo. Instead of talking about Christ. Christ. Let me, let, me do this. let me just be clear here. The dispensation about to Konayo, your last days. We are supposed to focus on Christo. This case, I'm going to go and connect now. We have ordinary mind, we have simple mind, we have great mind. There are people more because you on a debate event. Kuna watu mbona debate watu. Watu wa great mind on a debate, great ideas. If watu mbona uko na wao. If watu group yako. Watu mbona uko na wao. Wanafanya urus focus yako from Christ. Wanakuleta kwa kudebate event na kudebate watu. Toroka mbio. Focus yako ni kwa Christo and Christ alone. Because there is no way watu watu wata believe you don't believe.
Look at this. Numbers 11. Let me surprise you. Let me surprise you. Angalia. <laughs> Verse number 10. Mixed multitude. By when someone magani. Moses had the people of every family willing eat at the entrance to his tent. Then the Lord became exceedingly angry and Moses was troubled. What Moses akaskia watu analia kashido what is happening? Kuben watu mekata brand. Watu meza kutamani. Watu meza kutamani garik. Watu meza kutamani meron. Watu analia kwa Facebook. Watu analia kwa Twitter. Watu analia kwa TikTok. Wanalia. Why? Wameacha brand. Wanalia kwa sabi ya melon. Tunataka melon. Tunataka melon. Tunataka melon. Tunataka melon. They don't want to hear about Christ. Tunataka melon. Nunguliko madada likuwa nafunga. Dada likuwa serious. Ame divert. Me kimbiria. Melon. Moses akasikia wanalia. Mungu waka kasirika. Maneke if kuna kitu kinafanya mungu waka sirika. Na wakati sasa unaacha focus yako. Unaacha kumtazama yeye. Unaweza kutazama watu. Unaweza kutazama kazi yako. Unaweza kutazama bwana yako. Unaweza kutazama watoto yako. Focus yako is to Christ brand. Ni unafaa kukula kila siku. Eat Christ every day. Eat the word every day. Focus yako is Christ. Don't be diverting. E hatukai for hatufai kuenda fasting. Don't be diverted. If you believe in fasting, we fungu wachana marafiki. This life ni yako, peke yako. Hakuna mtu wabaita kuja kusaidia kwa nyumba gina. <laughs> That's it. Utakuwa diverted na wacha ukiria kwa nyumba. Ah! Bukare utakuwa diverted na wacha ukiria kwa nyumba. Don't be diverted. Focus yako ni kwa kisu. If you believe na fasting, we funga. That's it. If you believe na prayers, we omba. Are we together? This life ni yako. How do I see my neighbor? No. How can I see my neighbor? No. I have a neighbor. 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 I have a Don't be divertent. Be wise. No, what one are you? No, look at this. What are you going to tell me? Let's see. No, this is a pattern boy in the jungle of his story. So no one attack a yama. What a one. God help me to teach this. This is a decanic on as well. Angalia. Angalia. Verse number 11, he asked the Lord. Moses akakasirika kuhulisa, no. No, accept the Lord. Why have you brought this trouble on your servant? Bono menete issue. Moses alisuka, how comes out umekua diverted? Why bono mungu menete issue? Hii ishida now. Hawa watu menipea ni yongoze. How comes umekua diverted? Wameata kunifuata mimi Moses. Wanafuata mixed multitude. Even today. Waru mifuata watu mbo, they don't know Bible. Hakuna understanding wanayo ya Bible. Tu nakuja ni na B. Kwa Facebook kwa YouTube, na provesari. I tell you. Na nitasema tena, if today na ambio nitagwe. Oh my God. Oh my God. Aya ni kwambie hii. Mili sema hapa jana. If utu ha believe about Holy Communion. Wachana hiyo debate. Wacha kaya hivo. Una mina Holy Communion. I practice. If utu ha mini baptismo wachana hee. Hii debate ni hii tumayirizi yetu hapo. Focus yetu kubwa ni Christ. Christ. To see it, focus it. To talk about Christ. To come to focus to be together. To chini chini. Hapa baptism, 
uh, unafaa kubatizwa ufae kubatizwa ni nini turudishe kwa focus ya Christ hii tu bidi tudogo tudogo tumetoka wacha tuhubiri about Christ hizi zingine haziwezi fanya umis heaven see mimi niko na mapepo there is no problem if you mean mapepo mapepo if <laughs> so they are demons na kusema huamini about nini hawezi kwa ah they are there but we believe kwa sababu we are born again hazituwezi simple Don't lose focus. Focus yako ni Christ. Now, angalia what happened. Angalia what happened. What have I done to displease you that you put the burden of all these people on me? Did I conceive all these people? Moses said, Mungu, ni mimi ni mawaza. Ni mimi ni mawaza. Ni mimi hawa nesikizi. Wanesikizi watu wigine. Ni mimi ni mawaza. Angalia. Did I, did I, did I give them birth? Why do you tell me to carry them in my arms as a nurse carrying an infant to be to to the land you promise an oath to their fathers where can i get meat for all these people they keep waiting to me when i dish nyama and itatoa nyama wapi nyama wapi sasa hiyo nyama na dish mimi itatoa nyama wapi nitawatolea nyama wapi if wamekata mkate nitawatolea nyama wapi and this very funny kwa sababu wanataka nyama Nasema hii nyama nitatolea wapi? Mpaka Moses sahi amekosa ame, ame hata kuona Mungu anaweza peana nyama. <laughs> Analime to God. Mungu anaweza peana nyama. Anakoma hii nyama kwanza anasahau. Mungu kuna time alikuwa amewapea nyama. Do you remember that? Kuna time alipea nyama again. Ah, yeah, wote. Hata anasahau. Ya. Yeah. Exodus chapter number 16 alipea nyama. Wote walipokula nyama, bali anasahau. Mungu alikuwa amewapea nyama na at time nyingine once. Anasahau. Sahi ana anasahau kwa sababu amepoa nyama na anaweza pea nyama tena. Bwana Moses anaweza sasa nitatolea nyama hata anaona kana kwamba ni anapea na nyama Moses. <laughs> Imagine. Mwana anaona kana kwamba ni anapea na nyama. Mimi sina kitu. Baadhi mimi sina miujiza yangu. Mtu linuliza pasa kuombea mtu na kufa. I have no problem. <laughs> si mimi naponya watu. Bali nasema kwamba wakereni wagoje mikono watapona. Mimi kazi yangu ni kuwekea mikono. Kazi ya kuponya ni ya Mungu sio yangu. <laughs> I'm not the healer. I'm only a vessel ambayo inatumika na Jehovah God. That's right. Ni miono watu ambao Mungu anaponya instantly. Ni sahihi na mtu ambaye umeombea na amekosa kupona. And you can do nothing. <laughs> That's it. You can do nothing. After you watu wana growth inatoka instantly. But ni miono watu wengine wana growth but I talk ni meno watu ambao unaombea wanatembea na meno watu wengine umeombea na hawatembei that's it hii kazi ina mwenyewe usijisumbue na kitu ambacho huwezi fanya do hii part yako hii ndio Jehovah God wacha Mungu afanye hello somebody angalia mimi mwanzo nasema mwanzo hapa amekazilika kabisa anasema kwa nao give anasema give us meat to eat verse 14 i cannot carry all these people by myself The burden is too heavy for me. If this is how you are going to treat me, put me to death right now. Mimi mimi. Anabii Mungu if una treat mimi hivi. Now, ni uwe saa hii. Hii was. Mwanzo za mekazirika. Mwanzo za kuzidia sana. Kama now, if now I'm going to be someone no. Oh, now give okay. I cannot carry them. If this is how you are going to treat me. If this is how you are going to treat me. Agaria, treat me, anasema mambo gani? Put me to death right now, niue. Niue just kill me. Hayo kama ni sio hao watu, wameona miujiza, but wamekuwa diverted na mixed multitude. Sema niue now, niue. Just kill me right now. Just niue, niondoe hapa. <laughs> Put me to death right now if I have found favor in your eyes and not me face my own ruin. Ni uwe. Iwe sasa hivi. This is what it. This is what it. Eh, uh, uh, The Lord said to Moses, "Bring me seven of the elders." Unataka kuruka hiyo kisabu ya time. Agadisha 70 elders alipoitisho wakaja mahali pa now. Let me read for you verse 18 kwa sababu ni muhimu sana. To the people Okay. Mm, and I said verse 17, the Lord 16, the Lord said to Moses, bring me 70 of 
Israel's elders who are known to you as leaders and officials among the people, make them come to the tent of meeting that they may stand there with me. Kaitisho, sabu ikazi mekua gumisa na mekua praying. I will come down and speak with you there and I will take off the spirit that is on you and put the spirit on them. Kutakuwa na impartation. Iyo grace umebeba, uta share to them. There is impartation. There is connection of graces. We are graced differently. Nasama kopa, ine spirit mekupea ni tagawa, ni toapea. Iyo, ki, tu ili ukonayo, walete wale abone viongozi. They will help you carry the burden of the people so that you will not have to carry it alone. Our word to 70, wala kusaidia kubeba mzigo. Umesema mzigo ni mzito, na mungu waka understand. Sama kopa ni takupea watu wa kusaidia na word to 70, waze 70. Not just with vijana, mature people. Watombo wana leadership skills. Bring them. Nika wawie grace amba umepeba. That spirit ni waka wawie. It is some musaidiane. Matangari ipate wana penda. Tell the people, consecrate yourself in the preparation for tomorrow. Angali ya mungu. Angali ya mungu. I like about God. Ina napenda mungu hapa sana. Angali ya. When you will eat meat. Nesuma kubwa wanataka nyama. Kilo wanataka nitawapea. That's it. And that's, iyo diyo sasa inakuwa. Problem ambao watu wana face. Ukifosi mtu mungu kitu. Ukimwambi inataka inataka na atakupea. Yeah. Mkupea. Unataka nyama. Umekata kile nakupea mimi. Idi unataka oke. Okay, Itikwe. Na si umekata hile nakupea. Unataka hii. Iyo unataka nitakupea. Imagine. Wanataka nyama. Nitawapea hii nyama. Na angale video mungu nasema. Angale video nasema. The Lord had. Haya. The Lord had you. When you were out. Ambia koba mungu mesikia. If only we had meat to eat. We were better off in Egypt. Now the Lord will give you meat. Iyo nyama munataka ni tampea. You will eat it. You will not eat it for just one day. Mungu sawa kwa iyo munatamani nyama. Hamuta kura siku moja. Hapana, hapana. Hamuta kura siku mbili iyo nyama. Haa. Siyo siku mbili, hapana. Ara siyo siku tano, siyo siku kumi. Siyo 20 days. But for a whole month until it comes out of your nose strings. And you lost it. Because you have rejected the Lord who is among you. And have wrote before him saying... Why did we ever leave Egypt? Nitampea nyama mkule 30 days mpaka mboweka nazo. Zitokane, zitoke kwa mapua enu. Wamekataa bread ya mungu. Mungu nasamu, iyo nyama munataka na mpea hiyo nyama. Kusamu, kile ambati unataka. Mungu wamekupea free will. Ni unataka, tukua. Unataka buwana wanyewe, mtukue. Bari, utakuda kwa mwanyewe, mwanyewe utajinyonga. Now, wacha ni marize. Jump now to verse number Jump now to, okay. Let me, kwaza ni, mangari Moses. Moses in the end, he's tua. Na sema kupa, but Moses said, Hey, here I am, here I am, here I am among 600,000 men on foot. Ujoko ba na watu wa kisabu, walikuwa kama 2 million. Kwa bila kwa hesabu, anu wanaume walikuwa 600,000. Bila kwa hesabu watoto na wamama. Ujoko ba watoto na wamama kwa wengi sana. You say, I will give them meat to eat for a whole month. Moses said, how comes now? Muna sima komba. Sima komba. How now? Yani. Moses. God. Una sima utopea nyama one man. Iso nyama utatua wapi. Utatua wapi. Nyama. Ha watu nwengi utopea nyama. Moses mpaka na limit God. Aoni. How many times komba ishe tu we are limiting God. Aksima atafanya kitu atafanya. Aksima komba utaenda hidi utaenda. Aksima komba utafungua biyashara hidi ya odoha. Utafungua. Mungu wa mesema utopea nyama. Mose sana sema hao. Nyama isatoka wapi? For 30 days. Watu nwengi. Angali video nasema. Would they have enough if frogs and heads we are slaughtered for them? Would they have enough if all the fish in the sea we are caught for them? Hawa tato sheka hata kipu. Itu kichinje hizi ngome ziko huku. Ara sa makioto wa bahari. Ara wa kichinjiwa. Bada wata tato sheka. Watu nwengi mungu. Uta watole wapi nyama. This is Moses. I have mungu kamuliza verse number 23. The Lord answered Moses. Is the Lord am too short? Mkono mungu umepungua. You now see whether or not what I say will come true for you. Moses, atubishani na wewe. Goje wane kanakoba kile ni mesema. Kitatimia awa kitatimia. I don't know nani ya mbae mungu anongea na esiku wa leo. 
You see for yourself. Kana kwa kila mungu wa meongea. Kitatimia au kitatimia. And sometimes we doubt God. Mungu akisema kitu wa mesema. Akisema ata kuinua. Akisema kwa mungu wa manager. Hala ikuwa kwa hakuna signs wa manager. As long as a mesema anasema. Alambi ya Moses Moses. I mean what I say. And it's what I mean. Nikisema na peana nyama for 30 days. Na manisha 30 days not 5 days. Mkono wangu mepungua. Wow. How many times to say he met God kwa maisha yetu? Unona kwa mungu wezi fanya hivyo. Yani mungu wezi niponya uterus. How now? Mose sana na mungu wezi. Yambi kwa hii. Hatu debate. Hii anatu debate. So now do this now. Let's wait and see. Tuwana kana koba vile nimesema Moses. Itafanyika. Let's see now. Ha ha ha. Sasa Moses akata nakaita watu. Wacha ni jump you area. Tuwana basa na mother to one. Nimaliza na hii. This is good. This is sweet. This is sweet. Angalia. Verse that one. I like that. Ha ha ha. Now a weed went out from the Lord. Mungu alituma weed. Woo. He is my God. Ili aftimize kile ya mbato wa mesema. Ili ajidhihirisha ni mungu. Na nafanya kile ya mbato wa anataka kufanya. Baile sema kwa ba akatuma upepa weed. Weed. Angalia vile weed idifanya. Weed and drove and dro quail in from the sea. Quails from the sea. Katoa quails now. From the sea. It brought them down all around the camp to a three feet above the ground. As far as a day's walk in any direction. Ukienda north. Ukienda east or west. There were quails. Futi tatu from the ground. Una zipata zimeja. Hei ziliko mingi. Imagine zimeja futi tatu. Iza kweo zani mingi zana. Vini sama koba. Gani vini sama koba. Oh it brought them. It brought them down all around the camp to about three feet above the ground. Imagine, kwa yao zimekuja, one, two, foot kama tatu hapa. Foot kama tatu imagine. Kwa yao zimeja, foot tatu, all over. Unaenda unatukua, kila mtu wanda natukua kwa yao. Mungu ametuma upepo, kila walukua natamani wako wapea. And I believe, church, that's the same God abana ezafanya hivyo kwa hake. And ezafanya hivyo kwa hako. Totote amesema atatenda. And as a command weed, it let the kid a match winner. Connection as a command weed, it let the connection that you in. And as a command weed, now you're healing through. And as a command to to take you on the cane. What they thought they had come, Mungu had aweza. Moses had gone off to go back to aweza cana. Kweo zika da footi tatu from the ground. Zilikuwa mingzana. Mungu ritu mo pepo. Zika tole wa kure kwa bahari. Hazikuwa zinaisha. Maneke he is the one who created quails. I believe for kwa na umba zigine. Out of the way, zina flock, zina kuja, zina kuja. Weed in a bro. And what on earth, zina anguka, kweo zina anguka. Wow, angalia kweo, zina angusho tu, zina angusho, zina angusho, zina angusho. Kweo is all over. Zika ja, footy tattoo. Direction zote, north, south, east, where kweo is. That's how powerful is our God. Oh my God. Kini walikuwa natamani mungu kwa pea, munataka nyama. Chukue niyo nyama. Kule niyo. Mekata mkata, kule ni nyama. Mine za mpea mpaka hiyo nyama. Sio, sio hile nyama ya Egypt. Hii ni ingine. Sio samaki zidi mkwa. Haa. Haa. Sio Egypt. Hii ni ya. Ni mpea. Sio kutoka Egypt. Hii ni from the sea. Haa. I declare in Jesus my name. May the weed of God blow. Tio choto na hetaji. Wacha u. The weed of God. Ikule tain the name of Jesus Christ. Haa. If it is a healing, pokea that healing. If it is a promotion, pokea. May God surprise you. Na kile ambatu na muaminia. Na kile ambatu wa mesema. Ata hakikisha mefanya anything. Iti me. Moses ambayo kwa narime itali. Jionea kweo zimeka footy tattoo from the ground. Kweo, saja yona. Remember this was a diversion. Don't forget that. Remember this was a diversion. But mungo mekoma, although the diversion. Wata ni mwenesha koba, si samaki za Egypt. Na eza mpea nyama, not from Egypt. Kutoka kwangu na eza mpea nyama. So iyo minatamani za Egypt, mina eza mpea za angu. Yes, but now this is the greatest problem from here. Mbabu nasama kwamba, verse 32. All the day and night, all the day and night, and all the next day, the people went out and gathered quail. 
no one gathered less than 10 homa lita kilo mbili kilo mbili na almost na nusu there kila mtu alikuwa anaokota they they spread them out all around the camp angalia but while the meat was still between their teeth and before it could be consumed the anger of the Lord burnt against the people and he struck them with a severe plague wakati walikuwa nakula nyama wakati natafuna hivyo before wameze wakati nyama iko katikati ya meno before wameze Mungu akakasirika akawapiga na mapigo sababu ya nyama zile wanakula that was not his idea alikuwa anatimiza desire zao alikuwa anataka kwenye shikoba last yenu itamgangamiza hoti ukili is the last moko nayo the last of the flesh the last of the eyes and the pride of life Look at this. Therefore the place was named Kifra Kibroth Hatava. Because there they buried the people who had craved over the food. What am I going to Before waimeze ikawaua they died there. Nini kimeua last why wame follow mixed multitude dunia do not love the world of things of the world why in the world there is not love the father kwa sababu kwa dunia there is what you call the last of the eyes kuna kitu ambacho kinapendeza macho kitu ambacho kinapendeza mwili the last of the flesh na kuna pride ya life watch out for those things last gun desire gani unafuata watu na hiyo ndio nitamaliza nayo nikwambie kwamba what out for that Look at this one Let me read for you first John chapter number 2 Verse number 15 Do not love the world or anything in the world if anyone loves the world the love of the father is not in him for everything in the world the cravings of the sinful man the lust of eyes and the boasting of what he has and does comes not from the father but from the world the world and it desires passes away but the man who does the will of of god lives forever kuna tamaza macho vitu ambavyo vinafurahisha macho ukiona kwa unafurahi sana vitu ambavyo zinafurahisha mwili Vitu vyote vinafaa uonekane kama uko juu za malingo. Watch out. Zitakuletea kifo. Aite zitakuletea kifo. Stick now to the bread Jesus. Walipewa nyama, bali hazikuwasaidia. Maana kitu was not the will of God. Unaweza pewa nyama zikuue. Yes, unaweza tamani nyama na mungu kuruzu. Unataka hizo nyama tu kwa nyama. Ukule kuangamize. That's it. Kuna watu wengi sana wameuliwa na nyama, kitu ambacho umetamani, not the will of God. But Mungu hawezi kuforce kwenye wile yake. Maana anapeana free will. If you want to do that thing, just do it. That's why hawezi sema utakisi brother. Mungu akutoe hapo. No 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 no, utakuta mungu kisa hata kwa miokoka. Mungu atatoa ati ati tuonesha kinywa hivi, atatuonesha desire zako tu. Hizo dizo zitakuangamiza. I tell you. Ati bwana Mungu hapo niruhusu, bwana Mungu hakukataa. Eh? Ati Mungu unajua kwamba hataki huyu mtu nikienda kulana huyu mtu nishindwe. Au utashindwa, utulala vizuri sana, utashindwa. Akukitaka nyama kula nyama si unataka kula nyama. Bara wakati una meza itakuwa. Why mixed multitude? ilifanya watu wa last after nyama what happened mungu aliwapea nyama then ikuwa kwa kinywa wakati walikuwa natafuna nyama ikawanyonga ni nini unakula ni food gani 
Is it brand Jesus? Au kuna chakula zingine? Chochote unatamani utakipata. Whether it is in the will of God or not. Baba nataka kujoka na kuomba this is your will. Na ujoko but this is not Bible. Unasema this is not the father. Takujo this is umeokoka na unaenda na mtu ambaye haujaokoka. That's not hakuna kitu kutafuta kama will. Simple, hiyo desire unataka hivyo. Itenda through to, itenda through to. Itenda through to. But hiyo nyama itakunyonga. Watch out for mixed multitude. Baba ni asante kwa wema wako. Tusaidie. We focus to you Father. You are our brand. Our life, our healing. Mara mixa namba tusaisikiza watu, saifuata watu. Tuka lose focus ya kukutazamia wewe. Tusai kutua namba umazitu. Tusai pitia kwenye hari ngumu Father. Tuka kosa kukuona. Tuka wana marafiki. Tuka wana watu. Father, tuka wana, tuka wana diverted attention. Help us, Father. To focus kwako. Wakati kuna mabu mazito, wakati kuna vita, wakati hatuna. Wakati tunatafta kazi, wakati tunalidia wewe kwa dhiri ya watoto wetu. Wakati tunalidia wewe kwa dhiri ya bwana zetu. Wakati tunakulidia kwa dhiri ya mbili yetu. Father, help us. Have mercy. Remember the Lord. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy, Lord. Remember mercy, Father. We agree and we admit. Tusawa iru's focus father. Tusai kukasirikia. Tusai achana na kusoma bai. Tusai achana maombi. Tusai achana mpaka na kusikiza neno. Tunasikiza mpaka watu wa moho wafai. Lord, tumekua diverted for many times. But God, remember mercy. Remember mas atakuliwa na nyama atakukula nyama ambazo umetukataza tunataka baba kusimama na wewe au azali a living bread lord thank you god you are fighting our battles unaweza kila kitu jehova wewe ni jie kwetu we jehova god ni mwangaza kwetu pokea sifa hili neno limabadilisha mioyo yetu ni asante kwa kile umetenda tubadilishe mioyo yetu fanya umpia mawazo yetu father asante kwa maana umetufanya umpia katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na amen 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 call yourself a committee Jiulize, kuna mahari mekula nyama? Thank you, Anointed. Thank you, Varaisha. Thank you, God's favorite patience. Thank you. Gladys, thank you. Majara, eh? Majara, Joyce, Kafura, thank you. Wajiro, thank you, Josephine. Patricia, Mother Mogada, Santi Sano, and Susan Blessed. Eh? Bad Bento, Nanaji. Kuna Mahari, me photo mix more to you. At the Mother Gana Samakaba, where you meeting. Tomorrow by then, I'm put to those calls. Tomorrow, I'll be receiving those calls tomorrow. Makarada hasu pakarabaya. Leah, thank you, Elizabeth. Asante sana magi. Judongu Sara. Catherine, God bless you. Vanya maisko. Nasama kwa bana pen anataka mkate. Hehehe. Watu wa YouTube mko watu wengi serious they speak. Si unatoka hapo na like. Yaani mpaka kuko like unakuwa diverted kwa ku like. Anwadi unakuwa diverted kwa ku like imagine. Ati majara hiyo nasema kwa bati. Where left motu did to me follow. Never by the way. Ati very jeka nasema kwa ba ka meeting ni lazima. Hata leo nasema kwa ba kwa meeting. Meeting, tunaenda kwa meeting. Paris, thank you. Yeah. 
Imagine mtu anakuwa diverted what did you imagine mpaka mpaka mtu anakuwa diverted kwa ku like eh <laughs> yani unakuwa diverted uko watu wengi sana hapa YouTube na utoke na like imagine hadi shiro come bless you ah oh my god eh huh? imagine au usikuwa diverted ukosa ku like ukitoka we like mm. unatoka na like hapo <laughs> ah Ba tisha sema ati hapa kwa like hajakuwa diverted. <laughs> watu wamekurishwa nyama, watu wamekurishwa nyama. Hmm, Veronica, anmweni watu wamekurishwa nyama kugurishwa, eh? ma melons. Watu wamekurishwa ma melons sana. Yorana. Eh, Amwezi niambie kwamba how come the likes hazi hazi adamani na nini na tumacho tumacho ni tu ingi hapa YouTube. Bwana ukuta kwamba tu likes ni tu dogo, eh? Now what anasema kama ndio anasema kama ameanza ku lose taste from some gathering yeah yeah unaweza kuta kama unafuata mixed gathering kuta kama wamekurishwa nyama zinakunyonga hapa zikiremuka zinakunyonga zinakunyonga maombi zinakunyonga kwa fellowship zinakunyonga hata kusoma bible zinakunyonga hata kwenda church zinakunyonga hata kujitolea kwa Mungu I speak the healing of God in Jesus name. Mutai Elizabeth, I speak the healing of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ our brand. Eh watu wako kwenye meetings. I tell you watu wako kwenye meeting. Meetings are gafra. Ah Eh at least watu wame watu wameanza ku watu wameanza ku like hapa. Watu wameanza ku like. At least si to like to fikia hata at least 100. Hata kwa azia da 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 abatane na nini. Ati kwa nini sema kwamba kuna kuwa diverted again, kuna kunyongwa tena. <laughs> eh hata watu wa Facebook, watu wa Facebook, si unakuja hapo by the if how you subscribe kwa Referred Campus para YouTube, enda subscribe. Waenda subscribe by the if umekuwa kibarikiwa na kile tunaongea hapa enda pale. Eh tuachana na cucumber. <laughs> oh my god. At least anasema kuna kugura gari tena hiyo kukurishwa gari kapa zina. Eh? Ah bara. Ah kuna. Bara. Ni gari mkate tunakula mkate. Shalom I love you. Nini watu wa majabu? Ni watu wa Facebook. Twende pale kwa kwa YouTube. Una like subscribe. Eh? Watu wa YouTube. Mm. Ali shona sana kwamba I'm watching you every. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> Lisa, God bless you. Sana kwamba dimi barikio na hiyo neno. Ati hata ame disconnect na hiyo neno. No problem. Offering see that by the way. Sikia kwamba umebarikiwa na tu offering. Kwani kuna problem? Haina problem. Eh? <laughs> Kwa vizi nisamu ni ziko huku YouTube. Mwanaka, hizi nisamu ni kari zara huku. Tutake nga mpresi. Eh? <laughs> ah, at least watu, watu wameanza, sasa, wameanza kurudi sasa. Watu wameachana na melons. Hmm. Wame, hizo nyama, wameachana na azo. God is gracious, thank you. Hmm. Josephine Jerry, thank you. How by the way likes in the how at all simu to kingia na like okay either what zina fuck what down but at least heavy so god bless you continue eating the bread and we meet tomorrow by that gonna pray na miracle service tomorrow jioni tuna mambo mazito sana and uh, shalom god bless you <laughs>